Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid, and today Apple made some very important software, service, and hardware announcements, and I want to bring you right up to date in a very concise video so you don't have to spend too much time researching this information. Now, first of all, Apple Pay is launching in the United States of America on Monday, 20th of October. The rest of us have to wait a little bit longer. iOS 8 has a 48% adoption rate. And that might seem quite low, but I'm surprised that it is 48% because the software is very, very buggy and not working very well for me. Tim Cook also talked a little bit about the Apple Watch. Early 2015 for the launch, and they've also developed WatchKit so that developers can get on board. Apple also gave us some details about iOS 8.1. This is on the horizon and it will bring back, drum roll please, camera roll to our iOS devices. They then moved on to detail some of the awesome features of the new desktop operating system, Mac OS X Yosemite, including iCloud Drive and some of the continuity features. Now, Mac OS X Yosemite is gonna be free for everyone's download and it's gonna be available today. That's right, it's available today and it's a free download. Apple also announced new iPads, the new iPad Air 2. It's thinner, lighter, faster, new improved cameras and also Touch ID, available in three colors to match the recent iPhone 6 and 6 Plus launch, silver, space gray and the new gold color. They also announced the new iPad Mini 3. Again, improvements with it being thinner, lighter, improved camera and Touch ID. Both of these new iPad models will be available to pre-order on the 17th of October, that's tomorrow, and they'll be shipping next week. Next up is new iMacs. Yes, faster iMacs with faster processors and a top-end 27-inch iMac that is not just one better than the previous generation, but 67% better because it has 67% more pixels packed into its 5K resolution display. And then, for me, what was the highlight, because I've been waiting for a long, long time for this, a new Mac Mini. A new Mac Mini with Thunderbolt 2 ports, new processors, and a new price point as well, even cheaper than the previous generation. And both the new iMacs and the new Mac Mini are shipping today. So that concludes all of the new announcements for today. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel. I'll be getting plenty of this new technology from Apple into the studio so I can bring you my hands-on videos and also my full reviews. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.